Well, this turns out to be quite an interesting little video. It would have been probably a little bit more interesting if I'd have remembered to switch my microphone on. So be prepared that a lot of the footage you're going to see is going to come from the wobbly mobile cam. And that's also picking up the audio too. Nothing special. It's not a smart TV. But it's a full HD Samsung UE32. Is it EH or just an H? It's an EH5000. I was given this TV by somebody that had bought another TV from me. How they'd managed to put up with this TV for so long with the flickering picture, I'm not too sure. It would it would drive me crazy, but some people get used to things. This is one of them. In, in fact, to be honest, I think this Samsung is that Samsung there. Because the Samsung that's next to it is not identical. And if this is identical, I think it is. If I get it working, I may swap them over. Then again, I'm full of great ideas, which I just can't be bothered to do these days. Anyway, um, I don't even know if this is fixable. Let's just switch this one on and see what it, it's doing all the time. We got a, a flicker. Is that flicker coming across? It's coming across on this cam, on that camera. I don't know if it's coming across on this one. Let me just go into the menu and we'll have a look. Yeah. You can see it flickering now. I'm going to turn the backlight up and down and see what happens. Turning the backlight up. Still flickering. Turning the backlight right down. That's still flickering. You probably can't see it. It's not flickering as much. Is that flickering? That's flickering. I don't know if that is. Anyway, let's turn it back up again. Is it a backlight? Is it a screen issue? Let's have a look. See if we can see. Are those backlights flickering? Can you see anything down there? You possibly can't. Let me have a look. Well, I could see in the end, and it was um, a flickering backlight, so hopefully it's something that can be sorted, probably just an LED failing. I've got to get the back off the set first, and that's complicated because this clip's getting on my nerves. There. Yeah. Trying to get that to push down and do what I wanted it to do. It's the same with these. Has that got to come out? I don't think it has. Anyway. Um, next we are... Well, I'll tell you what we could try. Why don't we try disconnecting the power board from the main board and then let's see if the backlights flicker from above. Okay. Well, I'll put this. I'll put this camera here. So we want to. Do you remember a video I did a couple of weeks ago? Where, anyway, I. I'll remind you in a second. I'll remind you to remind me about what I was just about to say. So by disconnecting that from that, it means um, when I plug into the power board now, the only thing that's connected is going to be the backlights, which are there. So let's plug in. They should come on straight away. And we'll switch off. And you can possibly see at full pelt. I'm sure you can see what's going on here on all the cameras. They are still flickering. And I now know why. We had this issue with the Vestel not so long ago. And if we just look on the um, On the uh, backlight circuit, there is a capacitor there. 
that ain't very healthy not very good is it I mean it's not it's not spewing anything out it may be spewing something out from underneath but it's definitely popped its top or it, it's popping its top um, can we see what value it is no that's going to be our fault we don't have to go into the screen it's just an old-fashioned Samsung capacitor issue again And just a quick reminder, if you want to join us on Facebook, you can do. Always willing to help on Messenger. Just search for Alan Fleckney, Fleckers in brackets, F-L-E-C-K-E-R-S. And if you want to get in contact with us on Twitter, it'd be nice to up the Twitter account a little bit. It's not done much over the last couple of months. It's Life of Fleckers. Life of Fleckers on Twitter. Any questions? I'll try and answer as soon as I can. So I've just spent the last 10 or 15 minutes looking for the capacitor that I need. And at the moment, it only looks like I need one capacitor, but I couldn't find it. But guess what happens now? And I switch it off. It looks like I discover the microphone problem. Did I switch that off? Have we been switched off for some time? Haven't I been talking to you? Ha, ha, ha. Anyway. 200 volts at 47 it's what I'm looking for, and I haven't got any in, but I have found loads on this old broken Vestel board. I did want to, I did want to go troubleshooting on this, and I will go troubleshooting on this. But for now, we are going to borrow that cap because that cap, I'm sure, will stop those backlights from flickering. Well, one of the main reasons for putting this video together, because it's a pretty standard, straightforward fix when all's said and done. Uh, it's just to help you slightly because it's going to be obvious if you have this problem, you're going to have a bulge capacitor. There are plenty of people trying to sell repair kits on eBay and other places, and they're always going to try and put in a few extra capacitors to up their ante and make a few extra pence. Uh, but at the end of the day, it really is just this capacitor that is needed, unless, of course, you see others that are bloated oh, on the board. I'm just going to, you know, do the usual. Let's switch this camera on. And we're going to be taking out that one. is just here so let me put some fresh gunk on it I believe it's actually a capacitor job that I'm doing. All right, the cap is out, it's just held in by the glue. And this is the one that's going to go in
If you're wondering where my solar sucker is, uh, the electric one, the proper one, the proper one. It's up at the main unit, it's always been up at the main unit, and it just doesn't get used. Which is a shame, but it doesn't. It doesn't get used. I'm not too sure how much clearance is on this. This is going to be taller than... Well, it's not going to be taller than that, is it? It's going to be around there. Oh, well, oops. Trust me to hit that camera. About the only one working at the moment. Um, is that taller than that? No. But I can actually put it in and fold it down, which is something I may do. Put the soldering iron back so I've got both hands. Lift it up a bit. Because this was, as I'm sure you can see, this was folded down on the other board and I don't need, how much do I need? How much clearance, Clarence? That much clearance, Clarence. That's all I need. So now, concentrate on doing the dirty deed. There's a wee bit to be snipped off. smelling to make sure that this is alcohol because it doesn't seem to be cleaning that flux off very well. Beautiful. So I did have my box of caps here, but it weren't any use. So my guess is, if it stops flickering, actually I've just put that in and I don't want that in yet. If it stops the backlights from flashing, it'll stop them from flickering. And it did. Flickering went away, we now get the perfect backlight. So um, 
I'd got no idea that this was a common fault. I have found out in the last couple of days while editing this that on this particular model, which is the Samsung UE32, um, H30, no, H5000, but there's going to be a few um, derivatives of this and the number. Uh, I would have thought of 55,000, and anyone that has that power board, which, let's face it, is going to be quite a few, is going to have the problem. It's amazing that we're still dealing with capacitor problems in um, 2022, or whenever it is that you're watching this video, but they're still out there. Well, we're seeing a bit of flickering picture here, but that's just the way um, the camera works because of the shutters and all that sort of stuff. But with my eyes, I can tell you, it's, it's not flickering. It's a nice pick. So if you come across one of these TVs, or if you've got one and the picture's starting to flicker, you'll know it is that particular capacitor. And it's quite easy to spot, as I'm sure you notice. So thank you very much for watching, and um, we'll be doing another one soon, I'm sure.